here, okay? Gap option. And I want everybody's attention over here now. Gap option, star. Marking it as star. And I'll be opening up the uh, PPT also side by side to help you understand better. Okay. So now, first we will talk about a gap call option. Okay. But before we enter into a gap option, uh, I'll give you a basic def bifurcation between a normal and a gap option. What is happening over here? Okay. In a normal option, suppose if it's a call option, normal call option, suppose you have a strike price of 100. Okay. Then what happens is the strike price, okay, plays two roles. The first role is it tells you payoff, and the second role is trigger. Okay. What is a trigger? Suppose I'll give you a very basic example. Suppose if my strike price is 100, okay, and if my underlying asset is above the strike price, then it is in the money. So the first information that the strike price gives me, okay, if your stock price is above, then you are in the money. That means trigger. You can trigger the option. You can exercise the option. Very simple. And the second information, suppose my asset is at 150, okay, and it is above in the money. So if I exercise this, how much amount I will be getting? $50. So the strike price also gives you that information. So it tells you what is going to be the payoff. It also tells you whether you should exercise it or not. Right? I am assuming everybody is with me on this section. Now look at this example. What is the difference between a normal option and a gap option? Okay? So what they are doing is they are now having two different strike price. Okay? Suppose we have a strike price of 100. When we have a strike price of 110. So instead of in the previous example, a normal option, the payoff and the trigger, both the activities were performed by the same option, but in the gap option, we are we have bifurcated it. So look at the first example. So payoff point is 100 and the trigger point is 110. That is the first way. Okay. The second way could be the trigger point is 100 and the payoff point is 110. I'll be showing you the example. Don't worry. Okay. But the point which I want you from on this slide to understand is that the responsibility, the two responsibility, which was being managed by strike price is now being given to two different strike price. That is the basic difference of the gap option. If I take you towards the example, okay, we are talking about a gap call option in that the first case, now I'm only focusing on the first case. Okay. So we have a payoff point of hundred and a trigger point of 120. That means, that means if, see, remember these trigger points, what is the trigger point? Trigger point tells you whether you are in the money or not. So that means if the amount or uh, the underlying asset is above 120, then only you will be in the money. Okay. That was the responsibility of trigger point. What was the responsibility of payoff point? The payoff point, if you are in the money, if you are exercising, you'll get money till that point. Look at the example. Suppose the spot is at 150. That means we are standing over here. First of all, is it in the money as per the trigger option? Come on guys. Is it in the money? Right, because it is above the trigger point, it's in the money because it's a call option. So in the call option, it has to be above. Very simple. It is in the money. If you exercise how much money you will get, that is the responsibility of payoff option. So it's going to be 50. It's very simple. It's very simple. Don't worry. Okay. Now look at one more scenario. If the underlying asset is at 110, that means we are sitting over here. Can we exercise this option? No, because it is not about the trigger point. It is not about the trigger point. Simple. So the point is explained over here. So first case, first case is very simply and easily understood for a gap call option. Okay. And please remember call option means the underlying asset has to be higher. Anytime has to be higher. Simple. Now suppose, suppose if I create an option, suppose if I create an option, No, Puneet, I have not mentioned anything about premium. So I'm not sure why are you saying payoff point plus premium. There is no premium over here. No, no. I did not mention about premium. Right, Puneet? Taking you towards the second case. Taking you towards the second case. Look at this point. Suppose the trigger point is 110. Okay. Now I have shifted. Can you see the example in the previous part? In the previous part, 100 was the payoff and 120 was a trigger point. But in this case, I've just changed it. Now, what is going to happen? If I take the same number, 150, is it in the money? If it is 150, is it in the money? Yes, because it is above the trigger point of 100. 
now the trigger point is 100 right so it is above the trigger point of 100 that's why it is in the money when i exercise i will only get this much because that is the responsibility of the payoff when you look at numbers it becomes very simple but there is one more problem over here because of in this is specifically to this case what is the problem what is the problem okay if suppose we are standing over here 110 is it above, is can i exercise this option yes why because it is above the trigger point of 100 but if i exercise now do you realize i will be at loss because my strike price which will be considered is 120 and the stock price is lower for a call option this will be negative payoff this is a normally in the in a normal option the payoff is never negative because you have maximum of zero comma right but this is an example where you can face a negative payoff where you can face a negative payoff. now i'm taking a quick pause are we guys good on the example that has been explained with numbers the cap call option who sets the trigger point if i am having an agreement if i am having an agreement okay then you will you will actually uh, i will set out the trigger point okay we need i am re I'm repeating the second point again okay so if the if the underlying asset is at 150 are you in the money yes if because you are above the trigger point but when you exercise the option you get only the difference of 30 because the payoff point is 120 the second case over here is this which is when if the underlying asset is 110 then are you can you exercise the option yes can you exercise the option prabhat i'm repeating that point okay because the price is 110 what is the trigger point 100 okay see nobody will exercise it at 110 i, I understand that but our responsibility is to inform you that is what we are doing okay so if at 110 can you exercise yes because it is above the trigger point will you exercise no because there is a negative payoff why negative payoff because you have to consider it with this payoff point right nobody will exercise don't worry why are you concerned but look at the diagram don't worry nobody will exercise but see the structure is created in such a way that there can be a situation like this sachin i've answered your query manisha i've answered your query how is it better than the uh, normal call option see if i want to create a structure where i want to make money only above a certain point okay but i want to exercise at a very specific level only then only then then you will go towards this option then you will go towards this option right this is a very specific requirement of the investor look at the diagram the first case that uh, the trigger point okay was this x2 which was what 120 and this was 100 this was my payoff point this was my trigger point right simple but you will make money okay when it is above the you will exercise when it is above 120 right suppose if the underlying asset is 130 you will exercise it right but when you make payoff you will directly make 30 that was that is why the diagram is starting from here right because when you exercise you already have a 20 rupees in build as a profit right because you are exercising above it is everybody okay with the first diagram now look at the second diagram look at the second diagram now this was your trigger point suppose this was 100 as per the example and this point was your payoff point which is 120 when you are in between 110 obviously you will not exercise the reason you will not exercise because there is a negative payoff right can you exercise yes but if you exercise there will be a negative payoff and look at the diagram it is going below that is the main point which i wanted to highlight the diagram part okay I'm just taking you towards the example uh, book now and asking you to read certain part. Okay. First, read this paragraph. It is only giving you an idea about the what is a gap option and how it is different than a normal option. Kindly read the first paragraph.
right? Two strike price. We explicitly talked about two strike price, X one and X two. Obviously, you can give the trigger point or payoff point. That is a different discussion. We have seen two scenario. Now, within within the gap call option, within the gap call option, these are the same two diagrams, huh? same two diagrams. But now, I want you guys to read it slowly and properly. They have given you two different cases in one in single paragraph. Two different cases. The first case is this one, and the second case is this one. Read this point properly. Read the paragraph properly. How the payoff is reduced by x2 minus x1. Now look at this example. Okay, this is sec second example, right? So trigger point is 100, and your payoff point is 120. If you are standing at 150, what is going to be the payoff, Monica? Payoff is going to only 30, right? Because the trigger point and payoff point. Payoff point is this. See, ideally it should have been 50, but it got reduced by this much amount, na? No? Right? Do you do you agree now? Why it has been reduced by that gap? Moving towards Monica answering, I've answered your query. Is it is it clear now? Clear, right? Okay, okay. And I'm assuming everybody has read that paragraph gap call option. If you are able to understand the gap call option. So Sachin sir, they will be writing down in the agreement which point is a trigger point, which point is a payoff point. How the calculation is going to happen? Yeah, that they will mention it. That, that's correct. Let us go towards the gap put option. They have also shown you the diagram. Let us take again the similar way of looking at the example. Okay. So now please understand this is a put option. So when it goes down, then only it is it is going to be in the money. Please remember that. Okay. Suppose the trigger point is at 90 and the payoff point is at 100. And suppose the underlying asset has gone and reached 60. That means we are over here. Then first question, can we excise the option? Yes, because it is below the trigger point. We can excise the option below the 90. If I excise how much amount of money I'm going to get from 60 to 100. So my amount is going to be 40. Very simple and straightforward. Right? Now, if suppose the underlying asset is at over here, 95. Can I trigger? Can I exercise? No, because it is not below 90. So this, this goes out. Very simple and straightforward. Similar to what the first case of call option was, right? The second option, please look, look at this very carefully. The second case, now I have changed this. Now payoff point is over here, trigger point is over here. Same example, same numbers. If suppose the underlying asset is at 60, then what is going to happen? If it is at 60, then can I excise? Yes, because the trigger point is 100. Can I excise it? it? It is below 100. So definitely I can excise. But when I exercise this, okay, how much money I'm going to make, how much profit I'm going to make from 60 till 90 only. From 60 till 90. Because my payoff point is this much. So basically in a very simple language, you lost this $10 because the payoff point was different. Ideally, you should have earned 40. But that difference between the payoff point and trigger point you lost because the structure is in this way, right? But the main point over here is this. If suppose you are at 95, can you excise the option? Yes, you can. But if you excise, the payoff point is 90. That means it will lead to a negative payoff. Why? Because for a put option, it is K minus ST. So it's going to be 90 minus 95, right? The same logic is being explained in the diagram. The first case diagram, the second case diagram. If you have understood call option, this will be very easy. This will be very easy. And the same, same concept has been explained over here. Okay. Which I want you guys to read this entire thing. And also look at the diagram. 
and once you're done come give me a quick confirmation is confirmation on chat gap gap option done give me a confirmation once you're reading completed reading and you're 